Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to connect a large number of IoT and devices to your network, quick and easy. We will demonstrate this using one of FRAG's WizGate Edge version 2 gateways and its operating system, WizGate OS 2. Here's the place for a quick disclaimer. The adding method that we will demonstrate today is suitable for WizBlock nodes and other devices with not predefined EUI. With that clear, let's begin. Go to the Gateways web UI and log in with your credentials. From the main menu bar, navigate to the Lara section, the second one, and go to the Application tab, where the process starts. Click the Add Application button in the upper left. That will direct you to the new application screen. Enter a name for your application and optionally, auto description as well. Select Unified Application Key in the Application Type field and generate the key by clicking the Auto Generate button. Configure the rest as needed and click Save Application. A confirmation message will appear on top of your newly created application. Go to the End Devices tab to continue. Click the Add End Device button in the upper left. That will direct you to the new End Device screen. In the Device Information section, select the Activation Mode, in this case, OTAA. Give the device group a name and optionally a description. Set the class and the frame counter or leave the default values if they fit your use case. For the lower one Mac version, select B1.0.3. Click the Add End Devices button to continue. In the Adding End Devices section, you are presented with two options for adding devices. You can do it using a CSV file or manually. In this example, we will demonstrate the second option. Add a starting device EUI by randomly assigning one 16 digits hexadecimal number. Select one as the step and 1024 as the count. This will generate 1024 successive numbers. Finally, click the Add to End Device List button. All devices will appear to the End Device List if everything went well and to the end devices with error list if there was a problem. As you can see, the process of adding end devices is really easy when you use WizGate Edge and WizGate OS 2. Try it out for yourself. Of course, after adding the devices to the application, you will still need to configure them and assign the newly generated EUIs to each one in order to have a successful connection. Give us a thumbs up if you liked this video and share your thoughts in the comments. See you in the next video.